how to use screen scraping in UiPath. What is the difference between data scraping and screen scraping? These are the couple of questions we will answer you in this video. Before that, myself Rakesh from UiPath Expo Hub. Please do subscribe to our channel in case you are a new visitor to our channel. And please do like the videos that you're watching on our channel. In our channel, we have created multiple playlists as per the topic and you can pick any required topic that you need and you can start practicing there. With that, let's get started with our topic screen scraping. So screen scraping generally extract data from a UI element, right? It will scrape the data. So you will ask me, Rakesh, we also have get text, right? Using get text also, I can do the job. Yes, you are right. Using get text activity, you can scrape the data, but from a specific small element. But screen scraping helps you to scrape the data from a wider range of UI elements. So what do I mean? Let me show you. If I click on screen scraping, okay, so I get multiple options. Either I can scrape the data of just deposit or I can go with the withdrawal or I can go with the entire window or I can go with this window. So I, you can see I, I get a larger option in screen scraping, which is not possible within get text activity, right? So screen scraping gives you a larger, wider option. Now let's say I'm going to highlight this specific UI element, okay, this one, let's say on the left hand side. So if I select this specific um, UI element, you can see by default, you will get native method. So in interview, they will ask you questions. What are, what are the different scraping methods that we have? So the, your answer should be native, full text or OCR. These are the three different methods. So the default one is native. So what is the difference between the native and full text and OCR? When I go with native, which is the default one, you can see pretty much it has pulled all the required data. For, for example, transaction, deposit, withdrawal, split deposit, configuration. So all of this it has pulled. Okay, so it has pulled the scale. Only thing it failed to pull is something hidden in this, right? So that has not been pulled. Rest of it has been pulled quite well. So this works pretty much, you know, maximum time the native will help you. If I go with full text, okay, the best part of the full text is it can also pull the hidden text. For example, if you see under scale for the native, there was no result. If I go with full text and try to refresh this, what would happen, uh, the result has come in a slightly different way. But again, under scale, if you see, there are two different data which has appeared, page left, page right, page left, page right. So it has appeared. So it can pull the hidden text. If it is required, then go with the full text. If not, go with the native. The OCR engine, if I go with OCR engine, let's say I've selected OCR engine, this should be your last option. If you are not able to pull or scrape the data, you have to do a hit and trial. The last option should be OCR because OCR will consider your UI element as an image and then try to read the data from it. So for example, if I refresh it, it may work, it may not work. So let's see. OCR method failed to scrape the UI element. So if I go with the Tesseract one, let's see. This works. So this will be more of a hit and trial. Even the Tesseract uh, tried to get the scrape the data but again it, it it is not appropriate right so as per the best choice would be native so you have to do a hit and trial here which method to go for but the first choice should be your native okay and o ocr should be your last choice so if i go with this and click on finish what would happen immediately it is going to create the set of activities for you automatically you don't have to manually do anything so that becomes a benefit and apart from that, uh, you can see it has pulled everything. All you need to do is you wanted to see the output. Okay. Now here you can see get visible text has been utilized. So get visible text is nothing but it utilizes the native method. If you have gone through my uh, previous uh, videos, I have created a video for get visible text. Okay. So get visible text, whatever is visible, it, it will pull that. It will not pull the hidden data. So once I have this activity on the right hand side, if you highlight, you will find something called output text is windows forms window. Okay, there is a uh, output text already created. So what I should do using this generic value, 
I want to see the data. So how do I see the data? Very simple. Use a right line activity or a message box or a log message, whatever you need. So I'm going to use the right line activity. And here I'm going to use that specific variable. So the variable name was what was the name of the variable windows form window okay windows form window windows forms window okay done so once you do this all you have to do is just run this and try to see if it works ensure that application whichever application you are trying to do a screen scraping is there in the background okay wonderful so if i go to the output now I can see the entire data has been scraped right whatever we saw in that window all the data has been scraped quite well okay so that's all about screen scraping now the next question that will come in our mind what is the difference between data scraping and screen scraping so if you have seen the video of data scraping what the data scraping do it always look for a pattern kind of a data for example, if I search something on Google, let's say, uh, what is the future of, what is the future of RPA, let's say. If I type this, I would see there will be a lot many uh, data which would come and I want to capture all these links, okay, which talks about future of RPA. So for that, if I use a scraping data, it would always, if I use a data scraping, it always look for a pattern. For example, if I select this as a pattern, then it asks me to create a pattern. You need to indicate a similar field. So I'll hit on next and I'm going to indicate the similar field below this, right? Whichever. So that way it got, it highlights all the required data and I can pull all these links and store it in an Excel file. So the difference between uh, data scraping is it looks for a pattern kind of a data. Okay, it looks for a pattern wherein the screen scraping just takes out data from any specific window. So that is the biggest difference. It looks for a, 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 a the data scraping extract structured data wherein the screen scraping extract data. It doesn't look for structured data as such. Even though it is uh, in any form, it can scrape the data for you. But this one has to be a structured data. Okay, just now the demo I have shown you. In case you wanted to understand data scraping in a uh, uh, in a clear cut manner, I have already created a video on the channel. You can look for that. All right, guys. So thank you. I hope this video must have given you a bit of understanding of screen scraping and how that works. Please do like the video. Do not forget to. Um, like our videos that you're watching on our channel and do subscribe do share our videos with your friends thank you guys you guys have a great day